Hello, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to draw some perfectly imperfect fruit. Before I get started with the tutorial, I'm just going to go over what supplies we'll need. If you already know what you need, you can go ahead and skip right to the tutorial. Don't forget to like this video, comment what I should do a tutorial on next, and subscribe. The first thing that you'll need for this tutorial is a piece of thick paper. I recommend watercolor paper, but mixed media paper is also fine. It needs to be thick enough that your pen doesn't tear through it and that your paint doesn't bleed through it. You will also need a watercolor set. This one is $5 at Michael's. I highly recommend it. It is great, but any watercolors will be perfectly fine. You'll also want a jar of water, a paintbrush, and a paper towel to go along with this. Lastly, for this tutorial, we will be using a glass dip pen. It is not required, but highly recommended. You can use a Sharpie, a marker, or any other kind of pen. You just need to make sure that your paint is completely dry before going over it. This glass dip pen kit will be linked in my bio below. I do sell them. They come with stickers, some ink, the pen, a pen rest, and some exclusive YouTube tutorials as well as tutorials on how to use a glass dip pen. So definitely go check that out after you're done with the video. Now that you have all of your supplies ready, let's start drawing some fruit. Okay, so to start out, we're gonna start by drawing a bunch of grapes. Take your watercolor paint in whatever color you want, green, purple, doesn't matter, and add a bunch of circles on your page in the shape of a triangle as if your bunch of grapes is laying down on a table. Then we're gonna go back in with our green paint to make the leaves. Once you're done with that, you can either sit and let your paint dry or you can use a paper towel to dry it off like I did here. After we're done with that, we're gonna go back in with our glass tip pen and go over all of the circles we already drew with some ink circles. Remember, this is perfectly imperfect, so don't stress about your grapes all being the same size or even the same shape. After that, we're gonna go in and add our leaves. These can be kind of just a jagged little mess at the top. It doesn't have to look like anything specific because once you have all the circles, you'll be able to tell that it's grapes. Lastly, I like to go in and add some dots, some squiggles, so go ahead and add whatever character you like at this point. And then when you're done, check it out, make sure it looks good, and don't forget to sign it because you just made a beautiful piece of artwork. So the next thing that we're going to learn how to draw is an orange. This one's super simple. So we're going to start by putting down our orange paint on the paper. You could also add a little bit of yellow in there, some reds, kind of give it a little bit of character, some texture, some different colors in there. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and add that leaf right at the top for the orange. I like to go with just one single leaf. And then also go ahead and dry that off if you want, or you can sit and let it dry. Once you're done, you're gonna go back in with your glass dip pen and draw a circle around the orange, leaving this little peach crack here right up at the top. And then go ahead and get that leaf drawn in there just like this. And when, again, once you're done, you can go ahead and add those dots and squiggles, that character, whatever you like. And don't forget to sign it because once again, you just made a beautiful piece of artwork. The last piece of fruit that we're gonna to learn to draw today is a banana. So we're gonna start by taking our yellow paint and drawing it in a crescent moon shape as if it's sitting on your table here, just like this. And you can also go ahead and add some brown watercolor paint in there as well, um, depending on what type of banana you're drawing. You could also add some green in there. And you can go ahead and dry that off if you like, or you can sit and let the paint dry before moving on to the next step. I dried mine off and it took up a little too much of the brown, so I decided to go back in and add a little bit more brown for the spots. Again, if you're noticing that the paper towel is taking up too much of your paint, just sit and let it dry a little bit longer before dabbing off that paint. Next, we're gonna start by drawing the stem and then the end of the banana here, just like this as a center baseline. And then go ahead and get those all nice and connected with that crescent banana shape. And then you're also going to add a third line in the center here, your dots, your squiggles, whatever you like. And of course, don't forget to sign it because once again, you just made a beautiful piece of artwork. And that's the finished piece. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned some things about how to draw fruit. Thank you so much for following along with the tutorial. I am so excited to see everything you came up with. So please tag me on Instagram at Designed by Hannah and on TikTok at Hannah Stelter 2. Again, don't forget to like this video, comment what I should do a tutorial on next, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.